All right. We failed at the first race of the week. And, well, I already know I failed signing up for this. See fixed. Uh, big splits. 190 people signed up. So I can only imagine uh, what, what types of people we're going to get here. And maybe we'll get shuffled to the second split. I have lost enough I rating in the last week that, who knows, maybe if enough big people sign up, we, uh, we'll get a good second split with people that are halfway decent at not trying to just be a meme. But we're at Chicago, so two races at two tracks that uh, are no longer on the schedule. And no, but it actually looks like actually looks like we got a decent field. And if we're in the second split, having top split, top split's gonna be massive. But I don't think we are. Uh, not with a six thousand guy in there. So do a quick refresh of paints, and I mean this is gonna be fairly simple. Not simple to get speed. I still lack that in these types of races, but hopefully uh, fairly simple to not wreck. So what I've messed around with in practice is running the high side and playing around with that. High side in one and two, I think, can be viable later on, just for the run you get out of the corner. Um, three and four is way too long around. I don't know if it's actually wider or not, but it just it feels much slower. One and two, you can sometimes get it to even out by the middle of the back stretch, but it's not the quickest way. Obviously, the quickest way flat out is on the bottom. That's always going to be the case, unless there's more banking up top. But later on, might be able to run the top and uh, we'll see what happens. But number 10 car go ahead and qualify. If we wreck, well, maybe we'll get her. I guess we're... Oh yeah, the other race probably hasn't finished yet, and I was a 22 car in that, so we probably won't lose a whole lot from that. Very surprised to see a 39 over there. I thought we were going to be much further down, so let's go put a lap in. Probably not even going to qualify in the top 10 just because I, I lack something. This first lap's not going to be any good. I'm going to go ahead and get a run up. Probably didn't need to, but give it a shot. So yeah, trucks flat out for the first few. They will start to go tight. And uh, these would be awesome if we had more power, unlike the next gen, which is absolutely terrible with more power. I mean, it was terrible to begin with. It's just terrible overall. But, um, 
these these would be amazing with a bit more power as well as the Xfinity car. There's no way I got pulled. Right? There's got to be like not a whole lot of people have done a lap. All right. Uh, don't know what the hell's going on here. Clearly too easy to drive. Glad we, yeah, glad we took the run to the line for the start of lap two. Just by three one thousandths on the pull at the moment. Still got Justin and Matt. Well, and I mean, really anyone could probably put it on pull. So I guess we're racing. And uh, not going to be able to just go hide. Really didn't plan for that to happen. I thought we were going to be like in this area, which one little bobble and we would have been in this area, so. I, I'm i going to be amazed if no one beats that. Justin's got his first lap in. Is he? He's probably winding it up. And let's see if he beats us. Another one that just went out. Get a lapse and wait for it to come in. It's 073. We are still on pole. Got Spalding. Was that the other guy? Nope, he only got an 051. His first lap didn't count. Uh, looks like we're on pole. And we could have went, but the one car didn't finish his laps. Wow. All right. Um... That's unexpected. Uh, puts a little more pressure on me than I want. Let's get everyone stuff loaded up. All right, so we're the double digit idiot starting at the front. Hopefully we don't, uh, Don't cause any issues. I haven't had anyone around me while racing yet, so I don't know if there's going to be loose in the corner if we got someone packed up under us. Let's hop in. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the inside. Closed. Pit road is closed. And still wait, 45 seconds. Hopefully the next build in March, we get the new trucks. Definitely don't think we're gonna get them within two weeks. If we do, that's awesome, but I think they're gonna going to look really good. There are two additional sets of tires for this race. Be All right. And have a good run. It's time to roll.
most likely I'm gonna get shuffled to the back quickly just because I'm not aggressive enough. I don't have enough experience out in front, especially in this uh, wide open style racing. I don't want to burn the tires up, but I also don't want to... I don't know. I don't think we can hold off anyone. But we'll play it out and see what happens. Who knows, maybe there's a big wreck behind us. Maybe I self-spin into the corner. Uh, shouldn't. Haven't felt loose yet, but... Weird things happen. starting in second. It's going to be slower, but there's just not enough between first and uh, going. To go that makes sense. Get us a bit of space, and they will all come catch up. We should be able to go into this corner and not have someone tucked up under us. We're going to feel out what the car does when someone is right behind us. A little loose there. You're gonna go down there, we're gonna let you stay down there. You can go down there if you're leading, if you want to, but, uh, I'll keep you down there. I understand that it's a line that you can take, but if the guy in front of you is not doing it, then it's very stupid to try and uh, go under there. Just trying to lift it a little bit. A little loose. Slow enough that they're uh, passing me on the outside. Little push. Okay, though. Something happened behind us. Guy got loose. Guy's spinning in the infield. Race aggressive. Burning off the right front. That's fine. Giving you guys a show.
Yep. Now we're pushing. Alright. We'll go into save mode now. We've used up our tires. Having fun. super tight and uh, just go backwards. gonna get 10th or worse just because if this goes green we're gonna fall off so hard Very surprised if it goes green, but uh, hopefully it does. This guy's stopping because he's pushing so bad. I was hoping he was going to push up again, but he did not. Just being a roadblock for everyone. You just see him gaining on us so much. We are screwed. This is what happens when I go all out at the start. We'll be dead last by lap 40, probably. Don't know if the tires are going to come back, but I definitely need to get around this guy. coming down so much, but at least we didn't die. We're in sixth. 
I feel like we're in like 20th at the moment. And apparently one of those cars, the 14, is a lap down. And uh, well, now we're in 5th if this guy doesn't come back. Hopefully he doesn't come back on our nose. Well, that was a bit tense. Car's starting to come back to me a little bit. So we've somehow sort of saved it. Yeah, it's just not getting us a run out of the corner, but I feel like it's being easier on the tires up there. I just got to be able to try to get around someone quickly. I know they're gaining a little bit down there, but it's really pointless, especially since there's not enough draft, like the next gen. If we're going to pass someone, it's not going to be because we go on the apron. It's going to be in the corners going faster. Middle line. That didn't do us any good. We're just a roadblock that can't pass anyone. 22 laps in. guys somehow. I don't know what's happening. Pushed it way too hard up there that time though. Single filed out behind us. We got fifteen to go. Would gladly take a fifth place, but uh, I don't know, I feel like get a couple more, but I just can't get the run I need on anyone. Well, let's go do this. I'm amazed that we're still up here. There is a big group of people that could put us back to like 15th, but the fact that we're up here right now, after pushing it way too hard at the start, 
very surprised. Let's go last lap, try to find a uh, way around the corner. Three and four is easy. Get to the white line. One and two. I don't know, I've felt a few different things. Car's actually loosening up. Oh, nope, not now. Apex way too early. Right when I started that sentence, boom, massive tight. Lose a quarter of a second. All right, well, people named Ryan usually end up wrecking me, so let's see what happens. Get a big push, one in the wall. Get it to turn, get back on the gas. Seems to be working the best up top. Slow down so that maybe we can get a run off the corner. He hits the apron. Pass down here. Nope. Nothing we can do there. Need to go to the high side. Didn't give him any room. I'm using it all up. I am going as hard as I possibly can, trying everything I can. Luckily, we haven't had contact, but I've definitely put myself in position to get wrecked and it'd be my own fault. This has been one of the best races I have had in a while with people. It's pretty awesome. Four car is going to blow past us. He's got his tires saved up. I got all off on what I was seeing with the wall coming up. Finally, we should be able to make the pass. Hopefully complete it. And we don't. Alright, we're gonna lose a spot out of there. Just impossible to do anything. Just can't do a damn thing. Which is the six. Please, no yellow is the last thing we need. 
I don't even care if I finish 10th because they just start swamping us. I do not want the green-white checkered. I don't want fresh tires. I just finish this thing out. This has been an amazing race. as hard as we can and hope that was a bad idea and we get hit I'm sure that guy thought we were blocking him but that's just where we fucking ended up Jesus alright well we still get 6th somehow didn't die there That was intense. Woo! Hopefully he doesn't think we were blocking. That was... That was one of the most intense 40 laps of just absolutely I can't do a damn thing, but wow, I am glad that we tried it, and I'm glad we qualified up front, and what a freaking race. Tire wise, I'm guessing we're just gone. 6482. I just, I could not get any speed when I was under someone in three and four. Like, I had to make this work, and I tried too hard, and we just started pushing and pushing and pushing, and there's just dead now. So then, because I did that, I thought, oh, well, hey, let's just try even fucking harder into this next corner. So I just overdrive the hell out of it. We start pushing up. 15 eats the wall. We get door slammed. Luckily, the 7 doesn't kill us. We got the 6 to our outside. What a ridiculous race. That was absolutely intense and I did not give a single inch at all and that's uh it's not normally how uh I end up racing so we got away with it we got a sixth place only double digit car up there in the top nine I guess although that doesn't really mean anything because I think other than Justin, most of us, I think, were right around the same. Let's uh, take a look at 
incidents. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot. Other than the few people that spun out early. We got the five car. Well, Alright, so we had two things going on here. We had the 14... goes into the corner and just it doesn't turn and, and so he's a roadblock up against the wall so due to that this guy has the seven car on his outside and he's got to give him room he turns down doesn't know the fives there and the five goes spinning that's the only thing I can come up with for what happened there just unfortunate. Then, little side to side contact. I think the four ran into the side of everyone in this race. Three wide, 11 into the wall. That was just really bad timing of everything going on there. 21, little bump draft, then a little wall drag, and that didn't work out well for him. And he comes off the corner, was going to spin, now is going to spin, isn't going to spin, catches it, because you can actually drive this car and catch it. Uh, never have a wall hit. Five cars going around, five car hits the wall. 20. It's uh, a little wall tap. More wall tap. I think this one gets a must-watch, just because it was so intense. Big hit by the three. Twenty-two and nineteen, and nineteen keeps on coming down there. He just kept coming down. The twenty-two. Twenty-two is just holding the middle line. And the nineteen keeps coming down. And he pays for it. His engine's gone. Door contact with the four. Might have gave us damage, but we had tire issues. And then the big hit. nothing we could do about that. We were all racing really hard, really close, and honestly, that was the best C-Fix race I've ever had. That's going to be a must-watch, just because, I mean, that was intense at pretty much all times. Fun stuff. Um, let's look at results. We end up gaining 50i rating. We lose 10 safety rating, but who cares? And one of the few people with a 4x out there. That was intense. That was some good stuff. I Yeah, I don't normally race like that, but I kind of had to because we accidentally got pulled. And uh, I overdrove the hell out of it, but I was able to bring the tires back a bit. And it was just so damn hard to pass that, you know, with that high side, people were really struggling to get a run off a of two on me. So that made it a little easier to stay up there. So hope you enjoyed that, though. That was a fun one. Thanks for watching.